Overnight, the captain has taken us to South Shetland Islands. We're at Deception Island, an active volcano, but it hasn't erupted since 1970. We're landing at Bailey Head, the very prominent headland on the east coast. This is the home to a very large chinstrap penguin colony. The colony looked big from the beach, but as we went inland, it became huge. With apologies to Rogers and Hammerstein, the hills were alive with the sound of penguin. They all seemed to be going somewhere. The clean ones were headed inland, and the dirty ones were headed to sea. It's like watching commuters on the subway. One group goes out, and another comes back in. Time to head back to the ship for breakfast. Our next stop is Whaler's Bay. And yes, we have sailed into the caldera of a active volcano. Whaler's Bay was a whaling station from 1906 to 31. But it was also a secret British base in World War II and a research station until it was abandoned following the 1969 eruption. This is Neptune's window. We're hiking there for a look. Along the way we pass the remains of the whaling industry. Buildings, water boats, and barrels. This elephant seal is very relaxed. Up to Neptune's window. It's quite a view from here. There are plenty of whale bones on the beach. The rusting tanks make interesting photography subjects. I suspect that both man and nature had a hand in leaving this machinery in a pile. The kelp gulls have taken it over for nesting. Melting snow makes abstract patterns on the beach. Mud and ash from the 1969 eruption damaged Briscoe House and caused the research station to be abandoned. Only two grave markers remain in the cemetery. The rest were buried by the eruption. The next stop is Pendulum Cove for a swim. In theory, there are hot springs here that warm the water. Well, we all fell for it. At least now we can say we went swimming in the Southern Ocean in Antarctica. The cold water affected some of us more than others. That does it for Deception Island. We exit the caldera through Neptune's bellows, only 755 feet wide. There's a shipwreck on the shore to starboard. We're setting course to Livingston Island to the north. We're making our last zodiac landing at Hannah Point. The microclimate here attracts all kinds of wildlife. There are only two flowering plants in Antarctica, and they're both here. There are chinstrap penguins, Gen 2 penguins, and even a single macaroni penguin. And there are lots of elephant seals. Where there are penguins, there are skuas. There are giant petrels nesting here too. We learn that you have to be tough to be a giant petrel. We see a giant petrel eating another's chick. It's time to say goodbye to the Antarctic, to all the penguins, and to all the seals. We're headed north to Ushaya across the infamous Drake Passage. 
were treated to a final spectacular sunset. When we land in Ushuaia, our time on the Clipper Adventurer will come to an end. To our pleasant surprise, the turbulent Drake Passage is the Drake Lake for us. The crew raises the ensign and we enter Beagle Channel. We're at the pier in Ushuaia early. We enjoy our last dinner on board and turn in early. It'll be a busy day tomorrow. We're up early and enjoy a beautiful sunrise as we head to the airport to catch our flights home.